many of them singing the words you'll notice and certainly Andrei Kanchelskis wasn't from the Ukraine even though he's having uh, English lessons every day well the formalities are nearly over the next job that we have to do is to supply you with the team details start with Manchester United with Peter Schmeichel that giant Dane in goal number two Paul Parker after three weeks out injured Number three, Dennis Irwin. Four, Steve Bruce, the captain today. Five, Mike Phelan. Six, Gary Pallister, the player of the year. Seven, Andre Kanchelskis from the Ukraine. Eight, is Paul Ince. Nine, Brian McClare, the top scorer with 22. Ten, is Mark Hughes. And 11, that breathtaking 18-year-old, Brian Gibbs. Parker returns to right back then, Irwin at left. Phelan gets the important job in the centre of the midfield, ahead of Neil Webb, who's a sub. No Brian Robson, as expected. And Chelskis and Giggs down the flanks with Lee Sharp the other side. Nottingham Forest, meanwhile. Well, they have Andy Married in goal, 21 years old, and only a handful of games behind him. He's in goal. Number two, Gary Charles, back after injury. Three, in place of the injured Stuart Pierce, is Brett Williams. Four, Des Walker, now the captain. Five, Darren Wassell. Six, the splendid young Irishman, Roy Keane. Seven is Gary Crosby. Eight, Scott Gemmell. Nine, Nigel Clough, the manager's son. Ten, Teddy Sheringham. And eleven, Kingsley Black. Pierce's place at left back. It's a really huge void to fill for Forrest. Williams, who's played the last two games, gets that job. There's now a more vulnerable look, it seems, about Forrest's defence than for some time. But elsewhere, of course, there is plenty of talent to go around. Have a look at the two substitutes. As I said, for Manchester United, it's Webb and Sharp, and for Forrest, it's the fullback Brian Laws and the striker Lee Glover. Nice to see, Brian, that we've got four out and out wingers playing today. And uh, when you think of big Wembley occasions, you look forward to that, don't you? The fact that we've got boys playing wide here who stay wide as a style, and uh, we can look forward to a bit of traditional wing play, I hope. And one on the United bench as well, Lee Sharp. That's right. I think midfield is going to be a key area for Manchester United because I think the, the ball players of Forest might just dominate a little bit in there. But uh, as far as scoring goals are concerned, I do think that the high ball into the box is going to trouble young Marriott. And uh, I think we'll be looking for that in the early stages with Bruce and Pallister at uh, free kicks and corner kicks. Well, the man that they miss, of course, will be Stuart Pearce, the Forest skipper. They had him in the dressing room an hour or so before the start to try and rouse their spirits and get them going. What a character he is, and what a sad loss he is for Forest today with that knee injury that he sustained here at Wembley in the Zenith Baker against Southampton. Terrific atmosphere here at the stadium again today. It's Forest in the red shirts will be kicking off. There's Brett Williams who replaces, he's been, he was on loan to Oxford United for the season and was only called back a week ago, and here he is at Wembley. George Courtney just checking with both linesmen that everything's in order, and soon the 1992 Rumbelows Cup Final is underway. Roy Keane... Scott Kemmel, here's Walker, he's got a little bit of a niggling knee injury, Walker. Michael, over 40 Danish friends and relatives in the stadium here supporting him today. Here's Phelan. Little touch from Giggs into Hughes. Here's Phelan well forward again. And an early touch of the ball there for young Andy Marriott. Well, Phelan hasn't scored at all this season. That was an important touch, Brian, for the goalkeeper. Uh, I was expecting, actually, Phelan to get the ball across the face of the box, but he hit it out of the keeper. It's Keane. Picked up by Pallister. Hughes, quickly challenged by Walker, Sheringham into the path of Clough, and a lovely swinging pass, no, not so lovely, it's a little too firm for Kingsley Black to pick up. Irwin on the far side now for Manchester United. 
having a great run United they lost only one of their last 20 but as Forest fans would remind them the one they lost was at the city ground Nottingham with the Nigel Clough goal Forest winning 1-0 McLeir Bruce with a throw then for Manchester United Hintz stopped by Gemmel Giggs Irwin Giggs again Hintz Kanchowskis Williams Close very quickly on him, but the first corner of the afternoon going to Manchester United. Andre Kanchelskis will take it, although no, he's leaving it for Ryan Giggs jogging to this side. Palace is up there, this is going to be interesting. Just how Forrest and their goalkeeper deal with the height and the strength of Pallister and Bruce. A goal for the end swinger. Too high for Hughes on the far post. A throw to Manchester United. That's young Giggs a bit pumped up there, hit that one really too big, didn't he? But they're looking to play the in swingers obviously to try and get them in under the crossbar to test the young keeper. Pallister. McClare's little touch. Bruce knocking it back, but Ince didn't quite get to that one. And Marriott just keeps it in play. It's a big test for this young goalkeeper, just 21 years old. He was on loan to Burnley this season. They loved him there, apparently. There were some 300 Burnley fans wrote to Forrest when he went back saying, please, we want to buy him if we can, but Forrest knew that the boy was full of talent and wanted him for themselves. I'm told at Burnley, in fact, they used to sing the song, Swing Low, Sweet Marriott. <laughs> this is Irwin. Giggs again. Crosby. Sheringham. A foul there by Ince. Sheringham wants to take it quickly. Gemmell finding Brett Williams. Here's Black. Gemmell again. And Parker came off back important for them to have Paul Parker back although uh, Alec Ferguson will be the first to tell you that uh, Mal Donaghy has done a tremendous job in the defence there while Parker's been out with his hamstring it must have been touch and go whether he's stuck with Donaghy or brought Parker back I think Paul Parker's pace is the important thing there Brian, they, they wanted somebody with uh, Paul's pace in defence. Although personally, I don't think he plays as well at fullback. I don't think he's too happy in that position. Parker with the throw. Up to Hughes. Pallister. Good jump by Walker. And again, Walker. What key character he is again going to be. Actually, that was a bad pass by him. I, th I think that's one of the weaknesses in Des Walker's play that, you know, his use of the ball isn't uh, quite top quality. That's twice today he's just given the ball away. He's just, he's just, he's just flexing his knee there as well, uh, Ian. He, uh, I think, aggravated a knee injury in the uh, game at Southampton in midweek. And certainly uh, didn't train at all yesterday. Free kick to uh, Manchester United. Bruce planting it forward. Here's Walker again. Leaving it for Marriott. Gemmel. Up to Clough. Good touch there for Keane. Gets it back again for Clough. Keane going on. And now stripping the ball. And his shot was saved by Schmeichel. 
But Roy Keane, with that dramatic new haircut of his, that I can tell you he took a fair amount of ribbing from his teammates yesterday when he appeared with that. But that was a typical Keane surge through the middle. Wonderful football, actually, by Nottingham Forest. And uh, Clough involved again, setting up the play for him. Russell who's as quick as they come in before Kanchelskis and back to his goalkeeper Marriott Williams just touching it here for Black back again for Williams a little touch there but given to McLaren Feeden free kick Barry Crosby there Bruce right up there now to take this free kick. Even in the end for Giggs, they're pushing Bruce forward and Pallister is also forward there. Then seeking whatever they can in the air. Pallister winning that quite comfortably in the air. Wassell getting it away. Crosby then just touching it down here for Gary Charles himself, just back from injury too. And back again with Marriott. was up there was a foul by Hughes as he got round Wassell I think quite rightly there we can have a look at it again Brian there you can see he pulled him back there Wassell had just got ahead of him and uh, Mark Hughes pulled him back Ben Pallister winning it well in the air so win. Forest playing their sixth game in 14 days. And United for their part go on uh, and have a very important game at home to Southampton on Thursday. And they play Luton, I think it is, on Saturday. They have a game against Forest at Old Trafford on Monday and then a game on the two days after that. I mean, and then in the chase for a championship and really you have to say it is something of an indictment of our system where you get punished for being successful by having a program that is so heavily overloaded it might just be that Manchester United will have a slight physical and mental advantage over Forest here today after Forest's punishing program over the last fortnight I think that may tell in the latter stages of the game, Brian, but it is scandalous, isn't it? That we're looking at a cup final where two teams haven't had that type of program. Here's Pallister. Up to Ince. Irwin. Good support there by Keane. Talked about Schmeichel having... Uh, 40-odd Danish friends here. Roy Keane was telling me yesterday he's got 34 <laughs> Irish friends and relations coming across by ferry and by plane. Are there any Englishmen in the stadium? <laughs> showing, him, showing well there, but Owen gets it away. It's a forest throw. Forest seeking an outright record in this competition. Trying to win it for the fifth time. At the moment, they share that record with Liverpool, four-time winners. Cosby's throw. Roy Keane. Almost in there. Oh, in a way. Hughes. Clare up in support of him, and Giggs is coming in fast as well, but Walker just puts his foot down, gets a little more out of the tank, and uh, quite comfortably gets into pole position again and gets it back comfortably to his goalkeeper. Here's Giggs again. Touch from Phelan. He's been very active in these opening stages, but here's Walker. 
to Roy Keane to Sheringham Keane again Demel to Gemmell again score of two goals and there's any data here a couple of weeks ago and Kingsley Black very nearly found him a good ball played by Keane for Clough Brett Williams up here the full back touches the ball now for Scott Gemmell Sheringham trying to get in there knocked away by Phelan and a goal but a lovely bird of play by Nottingham Forest it's so delightful to see them when they get the ball, Brian. They just share it among the red jerseys, knocking it around. They're probing for the little openings, and uh, they're such a classy team. I think they've had the, the best of the early stages in terms of uh, the amount of ball they've had. United are a wee bit over-anxious, you know, want to get down the field rather too quickly. Foul by Hughes on uh, Russell. He's not having one of his best goal-scoring seasons, 12 so far, but he's certainly made plenty. Walker's kick, up to Clough. Two Forest players very quickly in there, all ricocheting around, and eventually the free kick given Nottingham Forest way. Here's Clough again. Manchester United know that he's the man they really have to curb. Keane, Gemmell, Clough again. See a lot of Clough, he's behind these midfield players now, Brian. Keane on the break again. That's so often the formula, isn't it, that they look for Clough in the sort of midfield positions and he releases the runs of Keane. That's right, it's very hard to, to tie down because he can just drop that little ten yards even deeper. Crosby with a corner for Nottingham Forest. And Schmeichel gathering it so coolly. Such a massive man, some six foot five, and a good throw out to Ryan Giggs. Here's Walker. I think you'll find that Schmeichel is probably one of the best uh, servers of the ball in the Football League. Wonderful server of the ball. And I would have thought not far from being the buy of the season. Here's Ince. Foul there by Clough on Ince. The free kick to Manchester United, just inside the forest half, it should have been. Here's Steve Bruce. Pallister. Out to Irwin. Pallister knocking it in to McClare. The little touch for Giggs, he's away again. Little ball in play there for McClare again. A goal for Manchester United. Brian McClare made by Ryan Giggs. Well, the top scorers in business again. That's his 23rd this season. But just look at the work here of Giggs. That was delightful football there by Giggs, wasn't it, to set up the play there for Brian McClare and did McClare do well he was in initially here he sort of miscontrolled it there but it rolled to Giggs he took a quick looked as if he was going to have a shot at one stage and then rolled it back into Brian's path and that was it tucked away so with a quarter of an hour gone Manchester United 1 Nottingham Forest 0 Brian McClare His fifth season, got 31 in his first season for Manchester United. Anyway, he's not going to be far short of that this season. You know, I have said that I have felt that he's been the best player this year for Manchester United because his goals have been priceless for him. And that's another one added to the list. And I think in his career at Old Trafford, things haven't always gone uh, quite right for him. The crowd have always, they took a little time to accept him, didn't they? Yeah, because he, he didn't play in his best position. Where he plays now is his best position. Through the middle of the field and he'll score the goals.
to stick him out wide as he has done for many games at Old Trafford was always a mystery to me. But he had the strength and the temperament to come through all the troubles there. Sure. And he really has blossomed. And uh, well, he's put Manchester United in the lead with just over a quarter of an hour. in that run just before he delivered the ball for, well, uh, for he, McClare as well wasn't it he pretended he was going to shoot and they got people on their heels here's Parker Pallister in there of course United's eyes as indeed the Leeds United's very much on that Football League Championship, the Barclays League. The first time United would have won it in 25 years and would, of course, then qualify for the European Cup. But the winners here today qualify for the UEFA Cup. So uh, if United were to win it today, at least for sure, whatever happened in the league, there'd be a European place for them next season. Charles with the throw to Scott Gemmell. Up to Crosby. Keane going in as though his life depended on it, but the ball squirted away again to a Manchester United player, to Phelan and now to McClare. Mike Phelan to Hughes. Here's Parker. Up to Hughes again. Just kept in play. Kanchelski is hitting it in low. Gemmell getting it away. Still will just gently get it across to his skipper Steve Bruce. That goal has given United quite a lot time because they're looking now very confident. Whereas before, up until the goal there, I thought that the Forest Victors have to have the edge in that department. And Owen gets it back. The balls there for Scott Gemmell. And Chelskis was able to get in. for himself there but uh, here's Keane getting it back safely to uh, Marriott formerly with Arsenal cost some £50,000 when he went to uh, City Ground good jump by Sheringham but it only falls for Giggs Mickey Phelan working hard for Manchester United midfield but you mentioned earlier that he'd been involved a lot he certainly has been Owen with the header Heel by Giggs, but it fell for Forrest and then falls for Phelan. Here's Ince. McClare. Walker stopped him, but unfairly. I thought that was a strange one because uh, the, ball, the ball squirted out square, so it was Des Walker actually got the ball there. Ince behind this, strikes a very good ball, Paul Ince. But Owen there as well. Four in the wall. It's Owen. Well, that one uh, went away over the top, but after 14 minutes, if you join us a little late, here's how Manchester United went into the lead. With a great run here by Giggs. 
And a superb ball there, played in for McClare. 14 minutes gone, McClare's 23rd of the season, United a goal up. And from inside Marriott's goal, the result is exactly the same. Little touch by Kanchelskis, not there for Parker. Gary Charles getting in to get that one away. Offside against Clough. One of my pet hates, Brian, in the, in the modern game. Uh, and I, I guess a simple rule that should be changed, whereby you can't be offside from a goalkeeper's kick out of hand. And it would stop all this playing offside business. Bruce Wassel in before Mark Hughes there Alistair Parker Ince Oh, that'll fall for Sheringham, but then Sheringham gets it away to Phelan. For Hughes. And finally out to Giggs. Played a couple of times here for the English schoolboys under 15 side. Losing out to Roy Keane there. Giggs is coming back for some more. Ke Keane just shrugs him off though. So, substitute coming on. Brian Law's coming on. But for whom? For Gary Charles. Well, that was obviously a gamble because Charles only just got back from a little bit of a hamstring. Obviously, he uh, felt that he was fit. But fortunately for Forrest, it's a fullback for a fullback, and Laws is an excellent right back. I don't think they've weakened the team at all there because Brian Laws never really lets him down, does he? Doesn't. Something like Forrest to take that sort of gamble and uh, Brian Clough is usually one to ask the players if they're fit. So Gary Charles obviously uh, told him, yeah, I feel fit enough to play, but something's happened in the opening 24 minutes to change all that. So Laws is on for Charles. Crosby with the free kick for Forrest, looking for an equalising goal. Looking to reach Roy Keane with it. Did so, in fact, but uh, Phelan gets it away as far as Wassell. Nice play from both sides there. Good passing. Good play here. But then given away by Hughes to uh, Williams. Good ball by Gamble to Williams. Difficult for Clough there. A better ball in, and Clough might have uh, responded better for that one. It was so difficult for him to pick up, but it's still with Forrest now with Keane. Laws has gone on ahead. Crosby, Gemmel. Trying to get a 1 2 going with Clough. And a scorching shot there from the substitute, Brian Laws, but uh, well, well wide of Peter Schmeichel's goal. Very good attack again by Nottingham Forest. And really had the Brett Williams played a better ball to young Clough, as you say, Brian. Maybe something might have happened. But Mickey Feeling it was who, who managed to get the tackle in. Gemmel up to Black Williams this is a bit of the old uh, Stuart Pierce for this but again United did well they got it away Kanchelski's coming in making the ball through to McClare McClare trying to get it back to him but that was always an optimistic uh, move Walker Forrest trying to keep this pressure going, and a foul by Hughes on Des Walker. Get more with a kick. Oh, it's uh, Russell. Now key. 
It's a reverse ball there, up to Sheringham, but just look how close Alistair was to him. Quickly closed in on him, but they still find Crosby with it. Looking for a way past Irwin. And a corner given. And it just flicked off the fullback then. Big Schmeichel, 23 clean sheets this season in some 46 games. He's played here before for his country, Denmark, against England. Feeling winning that in the air. Up to Giggs. I think we were together, actually, Ian, when we saw Ryan Giggs playing uh, for England schoolboys here, and Alec Ferguson had told me all about him, and uh, he really didn't perform very well that day, and I was saying to Alec this week that he wasn't all that impressive that day. He said, do you realise that was his 74th game that season? <laughs> Yes. So he quickly got to grips with that, the Manchester United manager, and uh, cut down the number of games he played. Well, that's a story that lots of the top-class schoolboys will tell you, Brian. Yeah. Here's Williams. Back. Played here for Luton and uh, gained a winner's medal in this competition against Arsenal. That's that back in 88. There he is again, Black. Into Clough. Ooh, the ball played there. Keen almost on the end of it. That's what United really uh, need to watch for. What we were saying earlier, Clough just teasing that ball in there, and Keen so strong with those runs from the midfield. It's a terrific link up, isn't it? The, the Clough Keen one. It was very like the Clough Webb one of a few yeah, years ago. I was actually thinking that, Brian. I was almost saying that. Here's McClare for Manchester United, scorer of the only goal so far, and a curious ball he's played out here. will be a throw to Nottingham Forest. Mike Ferguson has won here in the FA Cup, of course. He's won the Cup Winners' Cup for Manchester United. But my word, if he could just win the league title as well for the first time in 25 years, Manchester would really belong to him. Well, half of it. Well, half of it, yes. <laughs> Gintz battling and winning looking for Giggs on the far side Irwin with the throw Giggs Walker Bruce, an unfair challenge from behind by the Manchester United captain. And Clough wants to take it quickly, and McClare was just standing on the ball. Now, referee really needs it's so irritating that referee needs to take action for that sort of thing. Well, Forrest always wants to take the kicks quickly, and it is irritating when the opposition stand there and stop you doing it. Manchester United in possession again, Kanchelskis. He's played here before as well for his country against England. And also in, uh, he played in a Makita trophy here a couple of games when he came over with uh, Dynamo Kiev, did Kanchelskis. So half an hour gone. Brian McClare's goal after 14 minutes. The only goal so far. Feeling with these two sides, that may not be the last goal today. Feeling. Hints. You see, Nottingham Forest had a very patient side, right there. You can see here that they're not chasing the ball at all. They're, they want to just draw Manchester United in. Even though they're a goal down, they're still staying with this pattern. Hughes just touching that on. Law's getting it back. <laughs> Foul by... Oh no, that time by Wassel on Hughes. But Wassel's gone down uh, touching his face. Oh, 
little sparky challenge in the air there between uh, Hughes and Wassell. And Pallister with this free kick to Paul Parker. Bruce. Irwin. To Giggs. Well, Loz uh, doesn't stand in any ceremony, does he? Actually, I felt that uh, he was a bit unfortunate not to be selected for the original lineup because I think he's such a good defender, Brian Laws, tough player. McClare to Ince. And now to Irwin. Now, possibly a forest break, as we know of old, they can be so devastating on the counter attack. But not with a ball like that from Clough falling straight to Ince. And here's McClare again. Kanchelskis waiting to get inside the fullback, but Williams read that well. Black now for Forrest. Up to Sheringham. Parker. Challenged by Pallister in the first place was a good one. That was a good one too by Sheringham. Keane. A little dummy on Giggs. Then taking the ball well wide of Phelan. Gemmell playing it into Sheringham. Bruce back there for Manchester United and needed to be just before Black got in. Parker up to Hughes. Sheringham again. Yes, kept it in play. 20 goals this season for Sheringham. Two million pound man from Millwall. And remember, he got something like 37 last year for the Lions scored and it's such an important goal of course in the first leg of the semi-final against uh, Tottenham at the city ground here's Bruce Wembley visit for Brian Clough. Well, tenth really, because he played here as uh, an England international. One of his two caps was against Sweden here. Phelan getting it wide to Kanchelskis. He's run out of pitch there, but he gets a corner. It came off Williams. Giggs already across to take it. Kanchelskis. Giggs. Good angle to come in there. I think it was Walker in the end who knocked it behind for another corner. Ryan Giggs again with a corner. Floated in there towards Walker and Sheringham in the end getting it away. Keane is the man on the charge forward again for Forrest. Crosby had just straight off sign. Keane held it up. Crosby got back on side. Laws has gone down the right for him. And Black has spotted him. Now what sort of cross can he put in? And Sheringham with a header. The ball deceived to Pallister, but the angle wasn't quite right for the number 10 there. But a good effort nonetheless, Brian, and a, a beautiful build-up again. Brian Law is coming down the right-hand side, and whipping one in at the near post. And there was Sheringham. Had to duck low to get it, but it wasn't far away, though. That was a good effort. He's applauding the cross there. It was a good ball. Williams is header. Ince for Manchester United. Paul Parker. Walker Clough finding Gemmel Crosby on the far side trying to run Irwin gets past Irwin there's the cross oh, it fell just behind Sheringham back again 
Clough trying to play it in for Williams. Again, United do well. Very coolly getting that away. Kanchelskis' work was excellent there. McClare for Kanchelskis. Oh, and the pole there for Hughes. And a block challenge just saving Nottingham Forest. But an excellent break there by Manchester United. And some fine work by Andre Kanchelskis. Gemmel, Sheringham, Gemmel, Clough, in the end gets it just through to Keane, I think he was savaged there by Ince when he played the ball, Gemmel again, in for Keane. wave of expectancy goes through the Forest fans every time Keane gets the ball in his path with that surging run of his but it's little Gary Crosby on the far side now, the cross coming in, McClare getting it away, Roy Keane once more McClare attacking him but he still gets it wide for Crosby Manchester United still leading by a goal to nil, all coming to the laws the substitutes, on for Charles Keane again with the cross, can Black get there? No, picked out very comfortably indeed by Schmeichel. I don't think that's ever going to be the, the best ball to throw in. One up there for the big goalkeeper to come and collect. Forrest have had plenty of possession by, and they're knocking the ball around, but maybe again looking for that extra pass. Hughes to Geeks. defending combinations than Pallister and Bruce probably anywhere in the country at the moment. You purse your lips as though you may not agree, Saint. No, no. Uh, I mean, if you look at the goal, goals against Colin, I think you've got to say that the two centre-backs have been outstanding. Pallister was the, the PFA player of the year, and I think Bruce has been outstanding all year. Russell caught a little off-balance there. So it'll be a throw then to Manchester United. So Parker may well be the one to take it. Been wrong just about every time I've said that so far this afternoon, but uh, no, it's Paul Parker. Kanchelskis. And a corner. Kanchelskis, of course, will be very much a part of the European Championships in Sweden uh, this summer. They've decided to swap the kickers now. Erwin going across to take this one. Giggs has been taking them so far. Now it's Erwin with a corner. Towards Pallister. Kanchelskis. Giggs on the far side. Well beaten though by Keane. And a good ball played by Keane. Forward for Clough. But that won't be as good because uh, Sheringham won't get there before Parker. Ince right up there. Kick 
Kane on this side of the field now. Up to Black. Up to wide to Crosby. Moore's going up outside him. Black again. gets it away, a little touch by McClare. Hughes couldn't get to that one before. Wassel, though. Clough getting there before the Manchester United defender, Paul Parker, finds Roy Keane with it. Into Sheringham. You know, for all the entertaining play, now, I'm enjoying this game. Neither side, the goal apart from Brian McClare, have really had a strike at goal. That's right. You know, neither goalkeepers had to do any diving around, really. again Gemmel's in there Free kick to Manchester United last two minutes of the first half now it's with Pallister Freeland now can Kanchelskis get to this one take on Brett Williams. Now Williams has held him up just for a moment at any rate. And behind for the goal. Still 24 years old uh, Brett Williams. Here's Kanchelskis. Seven times he's been on the score sheet for Manchester United this season. Excellent chess player. As I say, learning the language and thoroughly enjoying his life at Old Trafford. Free kick to Manchester United. Ince. Bit of space ahead of him. Another free kick. Oh, that time by Flack on Ince. is right up there. Can McClare get there again? In the end, it's Walker battling to get the ball away out of his own penalty area. Finds Sir Kingsley Black here. Up to Walker. Into Black again. Black seems to be spending all his time actually going into uh, those central areas, doesn't he? He doesn't really use the, uh, the flanks at all at the moment. Here he is again, looks right in it. Sort of an inside right position. Here's Gemmel. Clough. Oh. And he's taken away from him just as he was about to shoot there by Mike Phelan. And look at Pallister springing forward now for Manchester United to Hughes. Pallister's continued the run. McClare's waiting in the middle as well. What an awful ball by Mark Hughes. It's so unlike him. I think up at the other end, you know. Young Clough might have had a case there. Yep. <laughs> he's, walked, he's looking at the referee, hopes he'll have a word with him because. Uh, Still looking to have a word with him. <laughs> well, he got his foot caught just as he was about to shoot. Gemmel. Here's this man, Keane, again. And there's that charge again from the midfield right on half time. Crosby on the uh, far touch line. up something in the last seconds no the half-time whistle has gone Manchester United are leading in this run below final by a goal to nil scored by McClare after 14 minutes after some excellent work by Ryan Giggs but uh, Forrest still very much in this playing some of their classic football good passing game but at half-time it's a goal to nil that's the story at Wembley <laughs>